Well, good day and welcome on this 15th day of our Lenten series, Eyes on Jesus. Today, the theme is, Jesus is your healer. This is found in Luke 4, verse 40. When the sun was setting, all those who had any that were sick with various diseases brought them to him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Again, we find that this is consistent with who God is and his character. In Exodus 15, 26, God says, If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. This is clear that the the Lord is the one that brings health into our hearts and lives. In Psalm 103 verse 2, it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you, with loving kindness and tender mercies. You see, healing has more than just the body. It is who forgives all your iniquities. There's a healing of our relationship with God. There's a healing of our diseases, those things that cause death within our bodies, who redeems your life from destruction, that he buys back us from the final judgment and who crowns us with loving kindness and tender mercies. You see, healing isn't just an absence of hurt or pain or iniquity or disease. Healing is a fullness of loving kindness and tender mercies. We see this in Psalm 147 verse 3. He heals the broken hearted and binds up their wounds. It is about becoming a whole person again, not just physically, but emotionally and spiritually with God. In Numbers 21, we have a very strange story. It's how when Israel rebelled against God, God gave them over to these fiery serpents. And when the serpents bit the Israelites, they died. And it says, therefore, the people came to Moses and said, we have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people. Then the Lord said to Moses, make a fiery serpent Set it on a pole, and it shall be that everyone who is bitten when he looks at it shall live. So Moses made a bronze serpent and put it on a pole. And so it was, if a serpent had bitten anyone, when he looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. And Jesus fulfills this in John 3.14. He says, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So just as in the Old Testament they looked at that bronze serpent and they lived, even now, as we Look to Jesus, we shall be healed, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. He is our healer, and as we keep our eyes on Jesus, we shall be healed. Well, the Lord bless you. Look forward to sharing with you again tomorrow.